Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is we put our paint additive into a manufacturer's paint and I'm going to check for flammability. We already know it's more chemical resistant, cleanability, that type of thing. So the one here on the left does not have the additive. The one here on the right has the additive. I'm going to use a propane torch and I have a thermal thermometer and uh, we're going to see what we get as far as burn goes. You can see the smoke coming off of it. Okay, so it caught fire at 690, 700 degrees. You can see the smoke, the smoldering, and the fumes. The paint blistered, as you can see. Here. So now we're going to do the same thing on the piece with the paint additive. So it's 695 degrees, we caught fire. And 600 degrees. Uh, getting a little color change. Get a little discoloration now, but I've been running this flame on here for, for several minutes now. I'm going to try the water. Do a thermal shock with water. You can see how hot that is. All I'm getting is steam coming off of it. Uh, no fumes. So what we did is we had two different thicknesses of metal. I couldn't get the temperature on this one to heat to the lower one. We did a little discoloration, zero blistering. There was zero smoke coming off. So this side has the additive in it. The opposite side here is just the paint without the additive. So. We're going to do the same thing and, and see what the results are. Definitely discoloring a lot quicker. You can smell the fumes. So, inside with the, with the additive, we've got 632 degrees. We're at 380, 380 to 400 right now. Burn through it and down the mountain here. This is it's coming off. So, uh, four, uh, 450. So, the quartz actually was a barrier to the. The quartz. Wow. Remember the water bubbles being red like that? No, they weren't. It's on the other side. Well, that removed that dulled more area. It looks like, huh? Right. You can see the the red in the little puddle on the on the side. We didn't have that before. Yeah, I don't think we removed any paint on the other side. No, no paint came out. And you can see the red pigment. See the paint on the on the ground here. The red pigment. Right. So that is washing the pigment off. You can see it's splattered all over here. So none of the pigment came off on the side with the additive.
So what we did is we heated this to approximately 600 degrees with a propane torch. This is the side with the additive. We've been able to clean the side with the additive uh, from graffiti with a permanent marker. We did get a color change where we were focusing the flame. Uh, the coating looks intact. The opposite side, which doesn't have, uh, is more destroyed. It was also uh, off-gassing and, and there, were, there were fumes. So even though we've tried to destroy it, uh, we're going to check cleanability. So again, I'm just going to take the permanent marker. So up here we didn't have that heat, so I'm just going to make this line all the way through. So we marked it up pretty good. I'm going to use a little of our cleaner. Clean, clean the marker off, but you see no paint transfer. It didn't turn red. So even with a propane torch hitting it, uh, it didn't change its performance value and its cleanability. Put the same cleaner on. Again, we have a white towel. And there's the, the paint. paint. And now this is, uh, you see gummy. my gummy, you see my fingerprints in here? But it's completely removed. Uh, the sheen of the paint while well, the paint's just coming off because we're using a, a paint remover, a graffiti remover. There's still shadowing, however, of the, the marker through there. Yep. Again, nothing happened to this side. No, no paint transfer at all. So this is the side we did with the additive. This is the side without the additive. So we're actually removing some of the paint. We saw some discoloration right here, and when we cleaned it, when we did the graffiti on there, that discoloration went away. So that was some type of residue from, from the propane. Or conversely, on the back side, you can definitely see, you know, it did get through the paint. So what we thought was a surface issue with, with the flame uh, was just residue.